look at this Aces Polar draft and not be a little bit intimidated. All of these heroes are prevalent in the, in the meta for a reason, and this is just... We'll see them come in, and pretty I think good he vision. I don't know. Yeah. Secret, they've got he some reinforcements coming in. Puppy, he'll channel up the Illuminate, but they do hand it over. G gets the Bounty Rune. Now, Curl initiated on Light Strike Array on two. Uh-oh, First Blood gets drawn by Lil. G on the run, but he falls as well. An early one-for-one one is now Puppy trying to make it to the high ground. Will get caught by the Battle Hunger, and he will end up going down to the likes of Axe. Blink for two seconds here. S4, Light Strike Array could put him in some trouble, but no, he gets the Blink. When the race here, the Battle Trance makes this pretty easy. They've already used their Glyph. They have to defend soon. They'll get here just in time. Illuminate clears out the creeps. Now Illidan looking for an Omni Slash charge. He's level 11, so it is quite potent. Arteezy will fall. That's the end of your Aegis. Now Puppy caught by the finger. Toddle will go down. S4 as well. Shadow Fiend with a double. Now Arteezy on the run. Bloody gets caught by the Berserkers. Call stunned up and killed. It's a three for nil in the top lane. Wow. A failed defense from Secret. Not a single buyback. Oh, and Arteezy right into it. They put the ward down, but the smoke doesn't get revealed until they hold the high ground. It's a good spot to initiate. Whirling axes on everyone. As for Sonic Wave as well, Secret oh just getting completely God. destroyed. It seemed like they had it. They, they just crushed the fight. Dyer's oh, yeah. I, 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 my eyes were on the Sonic Wave. That was when I said, oh, this is going to be big, and then his friend died. That was so. the only Dyer's hero not caught in the cold yeah. was that Queen of Pain. <laughs> exactly right. Everyone else on Secret just got annihilated. Oh, Here we'll see it continue. Through. Omni Slash goes in onto the back line. Nice cogs, though, from Zai to push him back. Now the rest of Aces Bowler trying to follow up. They're taking down the Range Barracks. These Impales are winning the fights. They drop the Laguna Blade on the clockwork. That'll bring him down. Now S4, no ultimate here Radiance with the Orchid on the way up. I don't think you really want to chase this. I was just thinking the same thing. They will silence on a Sedoi, so they won't be able to, or he won't be able to use the Berserker's silence, call. Yeah. Now G maybe in trouble. There we go. They'll get the kill on Lena. Aces Polar over okay. command, and it's secret that punish it. Three down, and Sedoi with nowhere to go. Will try to move into the trees. He falls as well. A lot of streaks ended, and that was the fight that Secret needed to bounce oh back here. That's a fourth. So well played on both sides, but this go around, it is secret that find the better of it. No, as four. Uh oh, is he in trouble? Who's the one that's actually in trouble here? Silence is Lena, but then there's a hex from FNG. Now the Earth Spike hook shot in from Zai. Laguna Blade's available, won't be able to get it off. Sonic Wave. It's a whiff for the most part, but they still get FNG as well as Lena. Laguna hits Zai, but now he's still pretty healthy. Illidan TPs in. Arteezy just clobbers him down. Now Sedoi, Aces Polar, they were taking this game, and now they're crumbling. A four for nil in the mid lane. Back to back failed fights for Aces. Secret really turning. This could brew. Looking like we've got a big team fight brewing. They don't have vision though. They're assuming Secret are in the pit. It's the right assumption, but here we go. Charging in Illidan, hit by the cons to get things started. Walks right in with the Omni Slash. It's only level two, but will start bouncing around. Queen of Pain with a pretty good ult. G isolated with a BKB on. Lena gets a taste of her own medicine. A stolen Laguna takes her low, but it's Secret that are falling quickly. Clockwork and Troll fall. Now the quad goes down as well. It's Aces Polar that take the fight with all five still alive. Aegis of the Immortal now picked up by the Juggernaut, and they're not done quite yet. Rubik goes in to finish off the Shadow Fiend, but it'll be the cost of his life. Axe gives him the slam dunk decapitation. A one for four when she's all said and done. It's the melee barracks in the top. Secret have a glyph here, but they want to use it for the melee barracks is the question. That's a nice way out. They waste the Omni Slash there. Illidan thought he had Zai. Didn't check his inventory for the Ghost Scepter. A lot of damage going on that tier 3 tower down bottom. This is not a good trade for Aces Polar. The melee barracks are still standing. Now Illidan stunned up. Bend? They don't really want to commit to this because he has the Aegis, but now the melee barracks taking a lot of damage down bottom. Sedoi TP's in, uses the BKB. Arteezy may get punished for this, but S4's here. They use their BKBs. They focus the melee barracks. They will find some success at least. The troll goes down. S4 will fall, but he does get the barracks before he dies. Now back to the top side of the fight. Illidan looks like he hasn't died yet. Just a couple of supports left. They really want to push him back here to keep their barracks alive and make this fight all worth it. Now S4, he will buy back another stun onto Illidan. There's your Aegis. Can they kill him twice? He's got the Manta for the Orchid here. I'll hold on to it and I'll actually be forced to use a Blade Fury. No TP out, Illidan. Could be in some trouble here. S4, S4 has the Orchid. And he's not even going to use it. Illidan turns, starts chopping that wood. Queen of Pain just barely lives. Puppy down low, but still alive. FNG with the negative urn. Puppy will die here. But what a trade for the Dire team. They hold the melee barracks up top.
and they get a tier three second charge. Now the rest of the Radiant sides start to intercept. Sadoi taking a lot of damage on the run. There's your Omni Slash doing a lot of damage. The puppy, oh, the RNG, it focuses him down and he's dead, but the Curl rest of the Dom's team, oh, it just gets destroyed. Curl on the run. They have the access point to TP2, setting up with the Illuminate. You gotta go, 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 Secret. They see how low Roche is. Azai hops in, hook shot, but won't be able to grab the Aegis, and he just gets juiced. Stolen Laguna Blade, though. It's it's tough. Yeah, there's... there's I mean, hooking in like that, even if you get the Aegis, it's a 50-50 play. Yeah, you just die twice. I think if Arteezy has a Blink Dagger and can follow you up, it's one thing, but Troll not having that Blink Initiation makes it a really difficult yeah. uh, place to try and fight. Because S4 can follow it up, but he doesn't want to Blink in. Kuro with the upgraded... Uh, uh, Lena ult just wrecks the lion. look for the Omni Slash. Oh, he gets it. He's going to turn this around. Illidan now taking his own medicine. Oh, oh. to bring him down. And then he blinks out right wow. as he goes oh, down. He's still going to fall to the dunk, but we can't forget about this mid lane. Now a buyback from Kuro. Ace is polar. They're going to try to go all in here. S4 and RTZ killing Barracks mid. If Secret can hold on, this could be scary for the Radiant side. Buyback now from the line. This could be your final fight. Sedoi isolated. Big Sonic Wave from S4. Sedoi will survive the Soul Burn with his BKB, but Lil not going to be so lucky. G getting cleaned up as well as RTZ has come back to the fight. There's your uh, Aegis of the Immortal. Shadow Fiend coming back to life. BKBs right away. Requiem right on top of RTZ, but no, he gets bashed. Oh, the Bash Lord's in town, boys. And Illidan's got no escape. He's trapped in the wheel. Oh. Clockwork gonna keep him in place, and Illidan has got no escape tools. He's already lost his Aegis. He's getting popped around, bumped around, and down he goes. Oh, Secret, boy. hold on. That was a very bold play from Aces Polar. They completely... There were two buybacks used as well. Axe and Lion have theirs on cooldown. So if they get taken out in this little skirmish, they will be diebacks. Secret will be able to do that with just attack. one buyback used on the Ruben. They'll put Arteezy in the front lines. There is some backdoor protection for now, but creeps are on the way. Trying to bait with the troll. Down go the melee barracks, ranged shortly to follow. Aces Polar, they don't want to use these buybacks unless they have to, but they may Looks be like forced they have to. to. Yeah. They're giving up possibly a third melee racks here at top. FNG and Sedoi hop in. BKB's popped up plenty. Sedoi just not doing enough damage to RTZ. The life steal is there. Now the Omni Slash on the back lines, taking Kuro down low, but it's a stolen Blade Fury. How unfortunate. Troll Warlord ends up going down. Now the rest of Secret starting to make their retreat. Puppy going blow oh, for blow, but what a blinding light. Illidan stuck, stuck in the trees. He's modeling, he can't move. And Puppy attack. may still make it out. What a play from the old man. S4 meanwhile just finishing Radiant's off a range tracks at backs. bottom. Dyer's they don't get the top lane, but they fallen. still get a lot of damage done. Force out some buybacks and right, so it doesn't yeah. have money for another. I guess Lena could theoretically buy it, but da 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 da, da. Illidan, he's in trouble. Natalie gets it started. Too. Now they hop in. He'll use the man to parry early on. Arteezy pops his BKB. Sadoi comes in with a berserker's call. All right for now. Illidan, though, not going to be okay. He goes down. Now Sadoi getting low. Arteezy takes the Laguna, but Queen of Pain just turns it around. G will channel a Requiem. Finishes off the clockwork, but a one for four already. He's on his own. It's just G, the lone defender. G against the world. Axe, the only one with a buyback Requiem. here. He even got pulled into the counter rec room. Going to bring down G. Well, with some help from his friends, Queen of Pain gets the last hit. Lena and Axe, the only two buybacks available. She this gets is a buyback now, but that's GG. it. GG. Aces Polar tap out. I think the right call. No way they'll be able to defend the high ground against this. An intense game one. That Aces was Polar put up so back and forth. One hell of a good fight. I think the only big misplay was that potential throne race. Can't even really call it a throne race because Secret came back to defend, but bypassing that bottom lane of Barracks and just trying to go straight for the tier fours, it sort of saved their mid lane because it called back Secret, but it came at a huge cost. They got completely annihilated and then Secret counter pushed to eventually take the yeah. mid lane of Barracks. I think they could have played that one a